Hi, this is Elizabeth Ewens with our Pause Devotional for the Week. This week we've been reading and some of our chapters were in Isaiah. And as I read Isaiah 53, I thought, you know, I've read this so many times. And it's kind of a gory chapter. It foretells that a Savior is coming, Jesus. And it describes how he's going to be treated, how brutally, and that he died. Well, we know it's true, but the thing that caught my attention was verse 7. I want to read it for you here. Because when it's talking about all the things that's going to happen to him, and then it says, He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Now I've read that many times, but we know that everything in that chapter came to pass because we can read about it in the New Testament. Matthew 26, 63, but Jesus remained silent. And then in Matthew 27, 14, it's talking about when he was being accused right before they um, took him to the cross. And it says, but Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge, to the great amazement of the governor. And then again, we know it was fulfilled because in Acts 8, is the story of how the Holy Spirit transported Philip um, out to the desert and he met an Ethiopian that was in a chariot. And the Ethiopian had some scroll from Isaiah and he was reading this very passage in Isaiah 53, verse 7. And he asked Philip, who, who are these scriptures talking about? So Philip explains the good news to him that Jesus came and he fulfilled that scripture. Well, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but in the past, when I would read those scriptures out of Isaiah or even in the New Testament, when it's accounting uh, the days before Jesus was killed, and it would say, he did not open his mouth. These are the kind of thoughts I'd have when I'd read it. Um, that Jesus would be standing there and he'd be, all right guys, come on, let's just get this over with. I know what you have to do because my father showed me, so do it already. Or that he would be standing there and he'd be thinking, okay, father, here we are. Are we really gonna do this? Okay, let's do it. Because I'm thinking, if I were in that situation. But when I read it, he didn't open his mouth. I'm like, wow. Well, it was only a couple of years ago I was reading this passage again. And when I got to the part where it says, he did not open his mouth, I immediately started crying, like ugly cry. Because in that instant, the Holy Spirit helped me realize Jesus wasn't standing there, not defending himself, not opening his mouth because he couldn't, or that he wanted to prove his sinless life. But he stood there and he didn't open his mouth because he was standing there for me. I was guilty. So he chose to stand and endure so that he could die for me. He stood there for you and for me. And in that moment, when they were accusing him, he didn't stop and defend himself. It says he remained silent. But in that moment, he stepped up and he took my place. He stood there for me and for you. Yes, Jesus did not open his mouth for you too, because we're guilty. <laughs> what amazing love that he did not open his mouth. Thank you for being here. And don't forget, you can go on our church website and watch this and all the other Pause devotionals. And please subscribe to all of our social media platforms so you can stay current with what's happening at the church on the way. God bless you and have a great week.